How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are going to be doing a what if the Marlins didn't collapse? What if they, you know, I haven't really thought of the title as I'm recording this, but basically, what if the Marlins never traded away their all stars? Where would they be today? So, if you guys are, you know, if you guys like this idea, hit that like button down below. You guys want to see some more videos like this, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content. And as always, leave a comment down below what you guys thought about this. What do you guys think would happen if the Marlins, you know, kept some of these players? If, you know, Jose Fernandez didn't die, D Gordon wasn't traded, Yelich, Stanton, Ozuna, stuff like that. So, um, also in the description, there's my Twitch channel. Basically, we were streaming last night and someone in the chat brought this idea up as a possible franchise we could do. And I thought, you know what? That sounds like a pretty cool YouTube video. So if you guys want to come out, talk, baseball, hang out, stuff like that, go follow that Twitch channel and you guys will be notified whenever I do go live. So let's get into this video without any further ado. Um, I'm going to ignore budgets for now just because um, I want to be able to keep the players. I want to kind of see how they would do over maybe a season or two so what i'm going to do is i've moved all the players back i've kind of reversed the trades that have happened and we're going to look at this roster let me make sure everyone's in the right place and i'll catch you guys in a second all right guys so what you see here is the current miami marlins roster and then what we did is we reversed all the trades or you know kind of sudden events that happened so jose fernandez is still alive you can see he's a 99 overall um we do have the other current pitchers that the Marlins have. We also brought back Kyle Baraclaw, who was traded, I believe, for Steve Ciszek. Um, but I don't know if that's true. Um, we also brought back AJ Ramos, um, Steve Ciszek, and Brad Hand was also a player that the Marlins cut. They didn't bring back. And that's how Brad Hand left the Marlins. So, like, what? Like, that's a solid relief core that they could still have. Um, when you look at the lineups, you guys see, you know, D Gordon was traded to the Mariners for Nick Nader, Torres, and Duggar, which, okay, you know, why? At that time that they traded him, you definitely could have gotten more. Um, JT Real Muto recently traded to the Phillies for Sixto Sanchez, Jorge Alfaro, and another prospect that I can't remember. Justin Bohr was basically traded for, uh, it was like international money, wasn't too much. Uh, Marcelo Zuna for Sandy Alcantara uh castano magnura sierra and there was gallon um i've got it written down in front of me that's why i'm like i'm looking at it uh stanton was traded for uh devers starlin castro and guzman and then christian yelich christian yelich is the big one you have a mvp a current mvp that you traded away for lewis brinson monte harrison isan diaz and yamato First off, none of those players are ever going to be Christian Yelich level. What a horrible trade. Like, I just like this. all these players have been traded for basically nothing. And the Marlins have really shot themselves in the foot. So you guys can see all these players have been, you know, have left. All these players are gone. Just for nostalgia's sake, we're going to bring in Ichiro for a season. I mean... You can't not have Ichiro, right? So let's make sure he is in the majors with us. He's not. We got we got to call him to the majors. We got to. Oh, my 40 man's full. I was like, what's going on? Uh, Sorry, bud. You're not making the cut. <laughs> you cut anymore. Uh, we're going to bring in Ichiro for nostalgia's sake. I know he's probably going to drop down to like a 12 overall, but we, we got to do it. You know, he's got to be. He's got to be there, right? So. Um, who did we? Oh, yeah, we Ichiro can be our, our bench bat, right? Um, power verse. There we go. So we'll fix the lineup really fast. And uh, that's that's what we're looking like. You know, the team is just us so much better currently. You know, we're not going to make any trades. I just wanted to see how these Miami Marlins would be currently if they kept all their stars. Obviously, things would be a little bit different. You know, players probably wouldn't be there like that are currently there would they have you know meal walker you know and stuff like that but who knows you know who really knows what happens so let's see how a season plays out with these miami marlins so at the deadline you know 
is actually going quite well. Half a game out in the East, 62 and 44. And I mean, quickly looking at the team, you guys can see, you know, Yelich is a 90, Stanton's a 96, Ozuna's a 86. You know, I mean, like crazy stats for some of these players. A lot of these players are, you know, aging or not really up to par compared to, you know, a Yelich or a Stanton. But it just shows how much, you know, an ace, some quality bullpen can have an effect on a team. You know, definitely having some solid performances from some players and also having some players of MVP caliber, it completely changes a team, you know, halfway through a season. I don't think in real life the, the Marlins are going to be anywhere close to a 62 and 44 record. So let's see how the first season plays out and I'll catch you guys at the end of the season. So first season, 89 and 73, we made the postseason as a wild card team. So automatically, we're in a whole different spot. You know, we, we finished five games behind the Braves and, the, you know, three games behind the Nationals. We got the second wild card spot. But this Marlins team is completely revamped to what they currently have. We have league leaders. You know, Stanton crushes the ball. So we had a league leader there. Awards wise. MVP for Stanton. We had Rookie of the Year for Jose Fernandez in real life. He wouldn't, you know, if he's still alive, he wouldn't be a Rookie of the Year. Hank Aaron for Stanton. Gold gloves for players. You guys can see Stanton's numbers. Unreal. If you, if they had a bat like this, just imagine even one player like this, what that would change, the, like how that would change the team dynamic. Just having one guy who can change the game with a swing is unreal to think about. D Gordon, you know, a 235 hitter probably should be a little bit better as a leadoff bat, but he is a little bit aging if he was on the team today. Brian Anderson, you know, a very bright star for this Miami Marlins team, that third baseman for the future. You have Yelich for the future as well in center field. You know, he's hitting about 300. Stanton, we've already looked at, crushes the ball. Um, Marcelo Zuna. 280 hitter good offensive contribution you have jt real muto who for some reason never really does well in a sim style franchise but one of the best catchers in real life justin Bohr, he even you know can contribute with the bat playing at first base neil walker and miguel rojas ichiro you know 250 for probably his swan song year can't complain about that and we also have a couple uh bench bats so quickly looking at the rotation you know the pitching the bullpen jose fernandez you know wins and losses weren't there but overall stats look amazing and even the rest of the crew you know okay here and there nothing too crazy you guys can see how the bullpen performed overall for a team that in real life probably isn't going to make anywhere near a playoff push to see how again how a couple players changes the lineup that's easy to see that they really shouldn't have done what they've done you know so let's get into these playoffs let's see how this game plays out and uh, i'm kind of excited i'm kind of excited to see how it goes um we're obviously gonna have jose fernandez up coming up against the division rival in the nationals and look at that stanton already makes it a two-run ball game here we go a single all right, Matt, Matt Adams had to go and do that to us. And then they take the, uh, they tie it up in the second. Oh, man. All right. Okay. Not too good from Jose Fernandez. Getting a little roughed up. Stanton is two for two with two bombs. Okay. All right, Justin Bohr. Justin Bohr with a triple. He's got like two speed. How's he doing that? All right. Let's run comes in. Let's get out of this. There we go. Still got the lead. Stanton, oh, they walked Stanton, all right. Here we go. A run scores. Two run score from, an, oh, no, it was one run. I think someone got thrown out. But look at this. Look at this. Jose Fernandez getting the bat going. And look at this Miami Marlins team. Let's see if he can get us out of the inning. He does. Last inning for sure. Jose Fernandez there. Stanton walks again. They're too afraid to pitch to the man. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just, he's killing it. So we're going to bring in uh, Stecken Ryder. He's one of our better relievers. There you go. Eighth is done. Miguel Rojas is coming in. We're going to pinch hit. You know, we're going to bring in Ichiro. Unfortunately, he couldn't get on, but I just like this. Stanton strikes out. Man. All right. There we go. C-Shack holds the door for us. 
Get a triple from Ozuna. And we're going to let C-Shack close things out. We're taking on the Dodgers. And ooh, this team is looking nice already. Let's see how things go against the Dodgers. Well, elimination game. All right. Let's, uh, let's get into it. Let's see how things go. You know, we got to have Jose Fernandez on the mound for this one. And look at that. One, two, three inning. First and second for Stanton. Bases loaded for Ozuna. A runner got thrown out, but that's all right. A run scores. We're looking pretty solid. I'll take it for sure. Okay. Let's see if we get bats going again. A mm, little quiet that inning. A little quiet that inning. Ozuna gets on. Boar walks. First and second for Real Muto, but second and third. Sack fly. That's all we need. Couldn't do it. But look at the pitcher with the triple. Okay. There we go. A four-run lead. Man, this... This team is an offensive powerhouse somehow. We let Alex Verdugo go deep on us. That's not good. Uh, oh, and Chris Taylor. Yikes. All right. Jose Fernandez knows how to swing the bat, dude. He's killing it. We still have that one run lead, though. Double play, man. Come on. All right. This, this is probably his last inning. Gets out of it. We're going to pinch hit. Uh, We'll bring in Neil Walker. A double there we go sack bunt pop up and a strikeout so we still hold that one run lead we're gonna bring in the hand to close it out maybe maybe Steve C uh fielder's choice and they take the lead really the blown save that's how we're gonna lose our season a blown save hmm Brad Hand let me down there. But let's let's hop into a season two. Let's just kind of sim it. And I'll catch you guys at the end of season two. So we won the division 99 and 63, taking on the Cubs. Um, we'll take a quick look at the standings. You guys can see two games separated us from the Phillies. League leaders, again, Stanton contributed quite a bit with the 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 bat, along with Yelich. And then we had Reina with um some uh, contribution there with the pitching. So let's see what awards we got. Silver Slugger for Stanton, MVP for Stanton again, Hank Aaron for Stanton, and a gold glove. So looking at the team, you guys can see Jose Fernandez has gone down a little bit, but a lot better year from the previous year. The rest of the pitchers, you know, Pablo Lopez is starting to get up there. Even Arrhenia did pretty good, 13-2 and two with a sub-3 ERA. Baraclaw, eh, you know, A.J. Ramos is going down. Um, Stecken Ryder better than last year. C Shack still a solid setup, man. Brad Hands, the closer you guys want. So the bullpen, the starting pitching, it's looking like it's going really well. Yelich hit 312. Stan hit 332 with 40 bombs, 132 RBIs. Real Muto almost hit 300. Ozuna, a little bit of a down year. But you guys can see it's crazy what mvp caliber players on a team can do it just completely changes the way things go and that's that's the elimination i didn't want to quick manage it i kind of just wanted to show you guys this team with yelich stan ozuna jose fernandez d gordon all these changes that they made which just it just hurt them so much so i hope you guys enjoyed this what if video with the marlins if you did make sure you hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content and as always leave a comment let me know what you guys think i'll catch you all in the next video peace